Okay, so um, a function f is defined as given. Write down the derivative of f. So I'm going to leave you to do a lot of this work, but I'm just going to get you started. This will be a much briefer explanation. Before you do that, before you differentiate, write the function in that form. Sorry, that's not equals three, that's minus three. Just go back and get rid of that. Always write it in index notation before you differentiate. Don't try to differentiate from this form. Write it in index notation. X squared on the bottom of the fraction means that it should be X to the power negative two. The negative sign means it's on the bottom of the fraction, okay? Uh, going back to the wording of the question, derivative, um, gradient function, differential, dy by dx, f prime x, any of those things uh, are, are expressing the same idea. Make sure you get your notation correct, f prime x. You don't need to change your answer back into this form. Uh, it's easier to do it, and you'll see why it's easier to do it in b. Um, but you don't need, you can leave it in, you can leave it in index notation form. You don't need to put it back into this form as a, as a kind of fraction, a rational expression. Okay, so that's, work that out. If you don't know how to differentiate, you need to learn that, okay? Uh, and that will be part A. Part B, it says find the point on the graph of F at which the gradient of the tangent is equal to six. Well, this is the gradient of the curve and the gradient of the curve is the same as the gradient of the tangent. So we need to put F prime X equal to six and then solve for X. And that will give you your um, your value of x. Let's just put that in properly. Solve for x, you will get a value of x. Notice it says find the point. So there is going to be one answer for x. You're only looking for one answer. But it also asks for the point. It doesn't ask for the x value. And so you need to then sub into fx to find find the y value okay so a couple of things there that you might miss well three things actually first of all put the gradient function equal to six second solve for x to find the value of x but it says the point it doesn't say the points so you're only going to have one value of x and then the final thing is it doesn't say find the x-coordinate, it says find the point, so you need the y-value as well. So you need to put that back into the original function. Notice we're subbing into fx, not f prime x, because we want the y-coordinate, not the gradient. fx gives us the y-coordinate, f prime x gives us the gradient. So sub that in to find the y-value. Okay, any questions on question 14? Yasmin, you had a question I saw you type yes. I don't know whether that meant you had any questions or whether it's okay, and I don't know if it's the previous question or not. Uh, if anyone wants to put their microphone on, because I, so I'm, I'm correctly interpreting it. If anyone has any issues they want to discuss, do you want to put your microphone on? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Yasmin. Yeah, I realised I'm asking the questions different. No, Yasmin, that's my fault. I'm asking the questions differently, so uh, it's not very helpful.